Hello, my name is David Nickel. I play Dr. Paul Moran in The Beast of Bottomless Lake. It was tremendous. It was summer camp. It was summer camp. It was, uh, you know, every now and then projects come along that you do because you, you, you love them, and this is, this was definitely one of them. It was, uh, I think it was one of the best films I've, I've, I've ever worked on. Shooting a feature film in 22 days. <laughs> It start at, starts at six in the morning and finishes at six the next morning. <laughs> um, plus all the all the all the kilometers of travel in, in, in between. Yeah, we did we did twenty two days. We put this uh, we put this film away. It was intense. It was intense. We had uh, we had several set changes, several scene changes a, a day, and really, I mean, with the schedule as it was, we. We had to we had to move along at, at quite a clip, you know, two three takes and uh, and different setup and, and and move along. We were fortunate that we had a really great crew, experienced crew that has worked a lot in the uh, in the in the film industry here in Vancouver, so they were able to sort of quick turn around. The the the, the, t the TV world that sort of all, some of us have, have 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 worked in has that 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 kind of pacing, you know, eight pages a day, nine pages a day, so. When we when we got to, to to doing the Beast of Bombs, like I was impressed at how quickly everybody sort of picked up their game and 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 was were able to to, to, to make this under that schedule. Yeah. Mm. Working with the cast was uh, has been a tremendous experience. Uh, we had the chance to rehearse. Craig uh, had us rehearse before the, uh, the the film started. And that really helped us a lot. We had a chance to uh, to try the material out, try different scenes out, and scenes that we didn't really wouldn't have time to uh, to do on the day. So it was a it was it, and it was a plus. It was the bonding experience, getting us all uh, getting us all on on board because you know we see each other, we work to, we see each other in auditions, and occasionally some of us work together on smaller projects. But having us together in one place on the ranch in the Okanagan doing this film was. Uh, really gave it the sort of the, the, the spirit, the Scooby gang spirit. <laughs> All right, uh, hello, we're on a boat. So uh, remember what they say, uh, prepare to, prepare to uh, not plan. Uh, uh, no, wait, it, what is it? It's fail to plan, plan to fail. Yeah, yeah, it's something about preparation. Okay, good, yeah. So foresight. Foresight is how we have gotten as far as we've gotten. And it is how we will continue to go on going on. Now, if, if you run into any trouble, if anything goes awry, then I just want you to say to yourself, WWJCD. Uh, what would Jesus Christ do? No, Stuart. What would Jacques Cousteau do? Because it's a terrific film. Uh, why come see The Beast of Donald's Like I think it's, objectively speaking, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a comedy, it's, uh, it's a touching story. Uh, and it it deals with a part of the world that I think is people don't know too much about the Okanagan in, in, in terms of the fabric of, of, of Canadian filmmaking. Uh, and what Craig and Kennedy did is focus on a part of the world that is uh, that has its own mythology, it has its own stories to tell, it has its own it has its own characteristic, and uh, this film has really captured that part of the world in a beautiful little package. And so do yourselves a favor and go see the Beast of Bottomless Lake.